día, este es el día que hizo el Señor, que hizo el Señor. Día de alegría, día de alegría y de gozo, y de gozo. Este es el día que hizo el Señor, día de alegría y de gozo. Este es el día, este es el día que hizo el Señor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Father Ariel Hernandez, and uh, it's my very first time here in Fatima. We just arrived and with a group from the United States of America. I'm originally from Argentina, and uh, this is a great blessing for us to be here and to share this Mass with my brother priest and with all of you. So we, play, we bring to the altar of the Lord and to our Lady's heart all our intentions. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thought, in my words, what I have done and what I felt to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the martyr Saint Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and seal in his blood, and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. I, Tobit, have walked in paths of truth and in good works all the days of my life. I have given much in alms to my brothers and fellow countrymen, exiled like me to Nineveh in the country of Assyria. At our feast of Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks, there was a good dinner. I took my place for the meal. The table was brought to me, and various dishes were brought. Then I said to my son Tobias, go, my child, and seek out some poor, loyal-hearted man among our brothers exiled in Nineveh and bring him to share my meal. I will wait until you come back, my child. So Tobias went out to look for some poor man among our brothers, but he came back again and said, Father, I answered, what is it, my child? He went on, Father, 
One of our nation has just been murdered. He has been strangled and then thrown down in the marketplace. He is there still. I sprang up at once, left my meal untouched, took the man from the marketplace and laid him in one of my rooms, waiting until sunset to bury him. I came in again and washed myself and ate my bread in sorrow, remembering the words of the prophet Amos concerning Bethel. Your feasts will be turning, will be turned to mourning, and all your songs to lamentation. And I wept. When the sun was down, I went and dug a grave and buried him. My neighbors laughed and said, See, he is not afraid anymore. You must remember that a price had been set on my head earlier for this very thing. The time before this he had to flee, yet here he is, beginning to bury the dead again. The word of the Lord. And speak to God. Our response will be, happy the man who fears the Lord. Happy, happy the man who fears the Lord. Lord. Happy the man who fears the Lord who takes delight in his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Happy, Happy the man, man who fears the Lord. the Lord. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous merciful and just. Happy the man who fears the Lord. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. Happy the man who fears the Lord. Let the message of Christ in all its richness find a home with you. Through him give thanks to God the Father. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard. He fenced it round, dug out a through, dug out a through for the winepress, and built a tower. Then he released it to tenants and went abroad. When the time came, he sent a servant to the tenants to collect from them his share of the produce from the vineyard. But they seized the man, thrashed him, and sent him away empty-handed. Next he sent another servant to them. Him they beat about the head and treated shamefully. And he sent another, and him they killed. Then a number of others, and they thrashed some and killed the rest. He had still someone left, his beloved son. He sent him to them last of all. They will respect my son, he said. But those tenants said to each other, this is the heir. Come on, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. Now what will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and make an end to the tenant and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this text of scripture? It was the stone rejected by the builders that became the keystone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful to see. And they would have liked to arrest him, 
because they realized that the parable was aimed at them. But they were afraid of the crowds, so they left him alone and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, the Lord is teaching us today through these readings the importance to understand what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. And we have this beautiful example of this father with the son. And I was thinking while I hear the reading, how in every place where the Lord manifests his presence, and Our Lady manifests her, her presence. It become a place where the families gather, where we uh, share, share the meal, we share the prayers, we share our faith, we share our cultures. We become one in God. God called us to be united, to be brothers and sisters. But in this, uh, union that we are building up as a church, there is a struggles, there is hardships, there is difficulties, there is persecution. And that is the hard part that we face in this discipleship that the Lord entrusts us, that sometimes not everything becomes the way that we think, or no, uh, or sometimes things doesn't uh, get fulfilled the well that they are supposed to, the way that the Lord wants. But it's because our limitations, or because our fears, or because we give up, but God never gives, gives up on us. So if he never does it, why we will do it? And we are here in this very special place, and we have this beautiful example of St. Boniface who gave his life for the faith, for his belief, for serving God. And a true disciple of Jesus never gives up in faith. A true disciple of Jesus, if even is afraid, he trusts. He trusts in the Lord. He trusts in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I can say personally, we trust in Our Lady's intercession and protection. Because no one who consecrates themselves to Our Lady can be afraid or be uh, in danger. Because Our Lady always, always protects us, defends us, and she also fights for the battle for us and she wins it with her great purity faith obedience and love so my brothers and sisters today in these beautiful readings the lord is calling us to walk in a discipleship without fear to walk in this discipleship uh, with open heart and open mind to let ourselves to be surprised by the Lord because the Lord has so many blessings. The Lord has so many uh, gifts to give and to share with us. And all of that become a reality through the presence and the manifestation of Our Lady. We see this beautiful example of this saint that we celebrate today. We see this beautiful example of this uh, new saint, Jacinta and Francisco, that also suffer, also struggle. It was not easy, but they received the crown of glory. Our whole discipleship is to follow Jesus until we meet the Lord face to face. So if God never gives up on us, why we will give up on him. We never will do it. So let us be faithful. Let us be strong in our faith. Let us take the persecutions and the hardship and offer that to the Lord carrying our cross, embracing the cross, because we know that carrying the cross, dying to ourselves, Jesus give us life. He give us the glory and he will 
give us and make us to achieve heaven. So our journey is to walk without looking back until we be with the Lord in heaven, that place that the Lord prepared for us. And we cannot wait until we see our heavenly mother too. So I ask the Lord today and let us ask the Lord to help us to make that firm decision to be the disciples that Jesus want us to be. And let us make a firm decision also to listen to our Blessed Mother's message, to follow her example, to allow her to intercede for us and to guide us until we fulfill God's will. And that will be the crown of our salvation. God bless you. With faith and trust in the intercession of our Lady of Fatima, let us offer to the Lord our petitions. That the Holy Church, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, Receive from God abundance of that peace which Jesus Christ brought into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the efforts of all people of goodwill in promoting peace and fraternal harmony be blessed and crowned with success, and that the entire world may experience that great gift of God we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That international institutions foster the search for peace among peoples and that weapons of death be transformed into instruments of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That rich nations and their governments overcoming the temptations of power and superiority rectify injustices towards poor nations and help the many who are hungry and in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That peoples who suffer because of war may once again find the gift of peace and concord and that our deceased brothers and sisters share in the internal joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this assembly, united in celebration of these sacred mysteries, be found worthy to greet one another in peace and be true messengers and servants of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, receive our petitions that we offer to you through the intercession of our dear Blessed Mother, our Lady of Fatima, and through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Be seated. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. And the hour of death. Amen. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. 
Gentle Mother, peaceful Dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love, teach us wisdom, teach us love. Pray, my. Pray, my dear family, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of Blessed Boniface be pleasing to you, O God, for touched by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Boniface, put out like Christ to glorify your name, show forth your marvelous works, and which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow a strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and Ahias. Bless the sea who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath. And giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body of blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As a family that we are, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Power and glory are yours, love, forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer one each other the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> My dear family, behold the Lamb of God. Behold, he who comes in the name of the Lord. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. People who enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Refresh by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of blessed Boniface, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gift we have received. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray together the prayer, uh, the Jubilee prayer of consecration. Hail, Mother of the Lord, Virgin Mary, Queen of the Rosary of Fatima, blessed among all women. You are the image of the church, dressed in pastoral light. You are the honor of our people. You are the triumph over the mark of evil, prophecy of the merciful love of the Father, teacher of the annunciation of the good news of the Son, sign of the burning fire of the Holy Spirit. Teach us in this valley of joys and sorrows the eternal truth that the Father reveals to the little ones. Show us the strength of your mantle of protection in your immaculate heart, the refuge of sinners, and the way that leads to God. In unity with my brethren, in faith, hope, and love, I surrender myself to you. In unity with my brethren, with you, I consecrate myself to God, O Virgin of the Rosary of Fatima. And thus surrendered by the light that comes from your hands, I will give glory to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, San Jacinta and San Francisco, pray for us. So, if you have religious articles, please hold them up for the blessing. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, may the Lord place His blessing and protection upon all the religious articles that you are holding, those that you uh, uh, treasure to bring home and to all the people who ask you to pray and who ask us to pray may the lord place his blessing and protection against the evil a gift of healing and deliverance in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. the lord be with you May Almighty God bless you, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass ascended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. God bless you. In Matthew, love Mary, your